Hey guys. Um, yeah, it's late on a Monday, and I totally forgot that it was Monday, and that I was supposed to be filming a video, so I'm going to go ahead and film it now. Um, this week is what do we like to see more of in YA, and what we'd like to see less of in YA. Now, um, I did a Top 10 Tuesday for this, actually, so I'm just going to kind of elaborate on the things that I said in my Top 10 Tuesday. And first would be, um, Love Triangles where it's like bad boy and nice guy what is going on there um not just that the amount of bad boy nice guy love triangles going on here is disturbing but the fact that in all those love triangles the nice guy never wins i want you to think right now of one circumstance where um the bad boy with a heart of gold did not win out in the end and that that's kind of freaky, um, especially considering most of those boys end up being major assholes. And if you can think of a YA series where the girl ends up with the nice guy, link it down below or like comment or something because what is going on here? This just it's just ridiculous. And outside of that, it's just the whole general idea of love triangles. Um, I don't experience that in my everyday life all the time and I have like loved crazed friends who don't even experience that either so I do not know why this is so like abundant in YA it's not it's not a common occurrence to have like two guys fighting over you like how is this a popular thing the second would be I'd love to see more standalone I love standalones, don't get me wrong, I love series, but sometimes I just want to read a book that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and everything wraps itself up in this nice little bow, and it's just a book that I'm reading, and I don't have to pine away for a sequel for like a year, because um, usually that's the time span, unless it's like more than four books, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. But yeah, sometimes I just want to read a really, really amazing book that just is it's just one book, and... It's just a really nice feeling. A series, do not cliffhang your books. Don't, don't do it. Just, the first book should always be able to stand on its own. First of all, you never know whether or not your book is going to make it to the sequel or not. You cannot just leave this open cliffhanger and then, bam, your book doesn't sell too bad. Your readers are just going to be left never knowing what's going on unless you decide to put it up on the internet or something. But... Your first book should always leave some loose ends, but tie up pretty nicely. Don't just leave this huge cliffhanger at the end, and everyone's just like, what? What is going on? The next would be, things. another thing that I'd like to see less of, is heroines that don't really do much. Um, I remember I was in Jackson Chat once, and we kind of had this conversation about what constitutes a heroine, and there's a difference between being the narrator of a story and being the heroine of a story. Heroin acts upon things. She does things. She moves and changes things inside the story. She makes her decisions. Bella Swan, I'm just using her as a general example because I feel like she's a really good example for like what I don't want. But she is not a heroine. She is the narrator of the story, but she doesn't really do anything. And I understand, like, um, you're the main character, you're human, you don't really know how to do anything. Still. I want you to at least show some incentive when the bad guy's coming out. Don't just be lulled by the false security of, hey, love interest X, love interest Y are like right in front of you to protect me, and they are an angel or a demon or a vampire or, a or something like that. The next one would be those self-conscious heroines who are just constantly bagging on themselves. And maybe it's just me, because I'm just a naturally like very outspoken and confident person. But I just can't stand it when I'm reading books about heroines. Her just talking and talking about, oh, I don't know why these boys like me because I'm so ugly and weak and helpless and blah, 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 blah. I know there are teens like that. There are lots of teens that have really low self-esteem and, like, peepers, but that's not everybody. And sometimes it's just the sheer amount of heroines just not thinking they're good enough and it's really sucky um one of my favorite examples of this not 
like the good version would be um Ivy from Paramalacy. She's just really she knows she's pretty and she's not she doesn't think she's gorgeous, but she knows that she's pretty and she's not afraid to love shiny things and glitter things and clothing and stuff like that and I love that and if I find one more heroine who hates dancing because she's so clumsy and uncoordinated I am going to stab out my eye because guys that's, that's just like things what's the big deal about liking things John Green said it liking things makes you awesome heroines like things like all the things another thing I really want to see more of is taking like real life events and putting a twist in it Mostly just because I loved Fateful by Claudia Gray, which is about um, the Titanic and this girl, and there's werewolves in it, and it's kind of just you're getting like the Titanic and you're just throwing werewolves in it, and I love that. It was so good. So I just really want to see more of that, you know. Um, I'm. It's not necessarily steampunk because steampunk means you're taking like future technology and putting it in a historical setting, but I mean taking like a re a real thing that happened and kind of just throwing paranormal into it and making it all crazy. Love that. And one more thing before I go, the winner of Everne by Brody Ashton, which if you forgot is this lovely book right here. Um, the winner of that is Twilighted Cullen. I will put the little username in here in case I butcher the username. But yeah, Twilight Ed Cullen. You won. Um, send a message to Totally Bookcess um, in your profile. There will be a send message button. Send us your address, and I will mail it out as soon as I can. Congratulations, and thank you for everybody who entered. Um, it was really, really awesome to see how many people were like interested. Yeah, okay.